Henry George was a man who was born in Philadelphia, went out to California to make his fortune. He goes to the gold fields, he tries to sell things, he goes into publishing. And he ultimately found himself on the verge of starvation with a young wife and two small children. That experience of being on the brink of desperation really imprints Henry George. He writes a book that he titles Progress and Poverty, and it becomes a bestseller. He diagnoses a problem that he and many, many other people are seeing. The system of industrial capitalism that is developing is rigged and that there's something wrong with it. He's saying we need to do something about this. Henry George proposed that we tax the land, we collect the economic rent, we allow land to be used so that people can keep buildings and keep their crops and so on. But if we collect the rent, then people will only hold the amount of land that they use. The incentive will be to use the least amount of land and to produce as much as you can on it. And because poverty is a manifestation of low wages and unemployment, so if we could create full employment and raise wages, we, we, we feel we could end poverty. So Henry George gets drafted to run for mayor of New York City in 1886 by a third party, the United Labor Party. He uses the term the 1%. He talks about the haves and the have-nots. Ultimately, Henry George comes in second, but it's really what happens during the campaign that's important because what it shows is that working people are coming together and saying, we don't like the way things are going, and we want to do something different. 